Good evening ladies and gentlemen. Our main focus today will be on the question, how do common access resources lead to a market failure? These days, a shortage of fish that is emerging in this city. This is happening since fishing grounds are non-excludable, meaning that it's impossible to stop people from consuming it once it's provided. Because everyone has open access to it, it leaves less and less fish living in the ocean. We have invited a middle-class woman who enjoys fishing, to our studio. Hello Miss Lake and thanks for coming. No problem. I heard that you enjoy fishing a lot. How often do you go? Almost every day. Many people come every day and I manage to obtain about 20 kinds of fish every day. It's amazing because it's all free. Our whole society benefits from it. It might seem like that in the short run, but in the long run, it may have devastating consequences. What do you mean? Fishing grounds and the fish inside them can be called common access resources. Other examples would be forests and irrigation systems. Because these are easily accessible and free like you said, it encourages overconsumption and it will naturally lead to a depletion of resources, which is what is happening now. Because so many people in your area are using the fishing grounds so extravagantly, fish are starting to become extinct. Oh no! Think about your future generations. Your kids, the children of your kids, and so on won't end up having any fish left to eat. That's terrible! It is indeed. This is a negative externality of consumption, also called a threat to sustainability. Consumption needs will not be met if consumers now continue to fish like you. What can I do? I love fishing so much and I want to take advantage of the fact that I can take as many fish as I can. It adds marginal utility for me. Don't you dare talk to me like that again. Oh. I care more about my own generation. Right now, there is no externality because isn't everybody is happy now. And in the future, my children can find other things to eat, like meat and pork. Well, I can't say much about your indifference. My main aim was to inform our viewers that we shouldn't overuse our common access resources. If not, market failure will take place, meaning that consumers and producers don't get to do what they want or need. As I said before, whatever market failure is, what is important to me now is me, my husband and the situation now. If everyone is happy now, nothing else matters. I think we have invited the wrong guest today. You are exerting a negative externality on me. This is getting ridiculous. If you're so worried about it, why don't you just ban it? People often ask this rather stupid question. Just think about it, it is extremely difficult or very expensive to do so. For example, we cannot just tell people to stop fishing. Miss Lake, if the government randomly told you to fish less, would you? Of course not. Exactly. Now think about people who do fishing for their living. How would they survive if this policy was imposed? In addition, fishing can be done anywhere near the shore. It is almost impossible to place people to guard every single place like that, or to put a fence around it. The cost would be exorbitant and it would lead in another negative externality, where it damages the view of the sea. That's true. It is. To sum up what we have discussed about today, the problem of the overexploitation of common access resources may lead to serious ramifications, and there is not much that the government can do at the moment. They are currently searching for efficient ways to help ameliorate the exacerbating situation. Thanks for coming Miss Lake. Join us again tomorrow. Bye bye.